Hey there brilliant people. So today's question is on the intuitive writing playlist and the question is what is the pattern of a novel? So by understanding the pattern of a novel, because our intuition is very much about pattern recognition and being able to work with patterns, by understanding the overall pattern of a novel in a really simplified way, it can help us work with our writing in a more focused and, and direct way. Because one of the, the troubles about being an intuitive writer, <laughs> so I have successfully learned, is that you can tend to just go off on all these tangents, which are fun, but in the end don't necessarily really help you get the, the story written. So by understanding the essential pattern of a story, you can perhaps end up being more like the kind of intuitive writer that somebody like Stephen King is, because Stephen King's probably one of, well, the most famous uh, intuitive writer. Like he will say, oh, he doesn't want to write a story if he knows what the ending is. He wants to discover the story as he's writing. But the fact that he, he is such an intuitive writer and at the same time that he is so prolific, I mean, that tells us that he's not wasting a lot of his writing. Like he's, he's writing very much on the story path, if you like. So it's not that he's going off on all of these tangents, which it's very easy to do as an intuitive writer. You can end up writing reams of backstory for every single one of your your characters which i suppose in time you could turn into a story but in you want to be able to stick to the spine of the story if you want to get it written and you want to get it out there right so what is that overall pattern what is that spine well essentially if you can get clear on just these four things it will help you have a clear understanding of the spine of the story. And because it's just four little things or big things, <laughs> then as, as long as you're incorporating these, these four things, the story will work because you'll stick to that spine of the story. So what are these four things? So the four things you need is one problem, three disasters. Yep, simple as that. So what do I mean by the problem? So essentially, in many ways, the whole story is about here's a person, here's a character, they have a particular problem. And the whole story is really about how they solve that problem. So then why do we need the, the three disasters? Well, the three disasters are pretty much, you know, your first plot point, and then your midpoint, well, end of the first act, midpoint, end of the second act, if we're talking about three acts. So, in other words, if you think of your story as far as um, being in four quarters, because the middle act is twice as big as the other two, essentially, each one of these disasters happens at the end of you know, so the first one happens at the end of the first act. Uh, the In the middle of the second act, you the second one happens at the end of the second act, beginning of the third act, the third one happens. Uh, so where do we find the problem? The problem is usually, you can think of it as the inciting incident. You actually want to let your readers know as early as possible or give hints of it so that they know what kind of story they're in for. But as soon as you're, as, as long as you're clear on what those are, um, if you don't like the word disasters, you can think of them as complications. Uh, but essentially, yeah, I mean, we, we have this problem, we're trying to solve it, and but all these disasters keep happening. And But however, we overcome all of that and we resolve it in the end. That's basically a story. So there you are. 
by being clear on those four things, which is the basic pattern of a story, you can be as intuitive as you like without necessarily wasting a lot of writing words and time getting off the spine of the story. So I hope that helps you be a better writer and to remember that you're brilliant.